Nice is a wonderful recorder, but unfortunately in today's world, we are losing that history. You know, I, I've been working in Peru now for 44 years on the glaciers. And in uh, southern Peru, where the Calcaya ice cap is located, this is the largest tropical ice cap on Earth. It had a beautiful record in the 1970s. Started melting on the summit in 1991, and now there's melting every year, and the water moves through the fern, the porous upper layers, and removes the signal. It's, uh, so we're losing that signal now. And this will happen on Huascaran in the future. So we want to capture that record before it disappears. What ICE does is give us a perspective. How important is the change that we're seeing today relative to the natural changes in the past? There are very few archives on our planet that actually allow us to measure how much snow fell in the past, how much precipitation has occurred, and how does that vary through time? ICE is a wonderful recorder, but unfortunately in today's world, we are losing that history. Well, well, if you if you think about Peru, I mean, in a way, uh, you, you know, you get a, about 50% of your electricity comes from hydropower. As the glaciers get smaller, there'll be less water in the dry season. There'll be less water for hydroelectric power production. That water resource in the future is extremely important. But that same water goes to municipal water supplies. Uh, it also supports the ecosystems, the natural systems. Uh, it uh, impacts the, uh, both rural and urban communities. I mean, you got to have water. Tourism depends on water. Mining depends on water. Uh, so all of these things are impacted when you change the distribution of water. I, I would say this is a problem that humanity has everywhere in the world. We think short term. We're not looking at the longer term picture. This is why I am a scientist and not a politician, because scientists deal with what is, and what is always wins. I mean, you can deny things, but in the end, this change will come, and you will have to deal with the change. And so, so to me, this is, yeah, this is why I like being a scientist. We try to get the data, we try to look at facts, because facts do matter. Well, well I, I think, first of all, the glaciers are part of this uh, balancing system. They reflect so much energy because they're white. But when you, they disappear, you, you, have, uh, you have ground, you have trees, they absorb much more energy, which drives the temperature even higher. I, I think the world will be a, a, a much depleted place if we don't have mountain glaciers for our children to see, but unfortunately, most of the mountain glaciers are going to disappear. We have already built that into the system. So if you're here in Peru, you have to look at the fact, look at the role that the glaciers play in maintaining life as you know it, and then you have to uh, undertake programs to adapt to this change. Well, well you, you can think about it. There are ways we can, we can do adaptation because what is a glacier? In some ways you can think of it as a dam. It captures the water in the wet season, releases it in the dry season. Dams do the same thing. You could build a dam. Uh, it's, I mean, it costs money to build a dam. Glacier's free. Well, I, I think that it is a very difficult and challenging uh, question because what you're asking people to do is change. And we as a species do not like change. Uh, we have a lot of industries that are vested in the status quo, the way things are now. And uh, when you try to change that, people get upset. It will change. And all you have to do is go back and look at history. Uh, in our country, in the US, uh, if you go back 200 years, the houses were heated by fireplaces. There was an industry of stone cutters an industry of woodcutters. And when Benjamin Franklin invented this stove, this very efficient stove uh, made out of metal, the industry had all kind of false claims that the health, that this is bad heat, it's hard on your health, but it wasn't true, and it didn't stop the change. The change comes. If, uh, and it will come 
for our future. We will have solar, we will have wind, we will have alternative energies. Why? Because we don't have any choice. Nature will see that we don't have any choice and, and we will change. But we don't change until we have to.